Hi there, Mike Wolf here, founder of MikeWolfMastery.com. Thanks for tuning in. And today I, I, I just heard that actually Whole Foods is opening up, opening up a location in Calgary. And I got really excited when I heard that. So I uh, basically did a Google search to see where they were opening up. And apparently they're not opening up till 2017. And they haven't figured out where their location is going to be yet. And why do I tell you this? What does this have to do with real estate? Well, it got me kind of thinking about some of the other U.S. retailers that have come up to Canada and some that have been really successful and some that have been totally unsuccessful and what we can learn from that and apply to our real estate and other entrepreneurial ventures. So uh, most of you, if you're Canadian, know that Target, a uh, huge U.S. retail chain, came to Canada approximately two years ago and they started off with 133 locations right off the bat. And now they're uh, going for bankruptcy protection because they're, they're shutting down all of those locations, two years. So one of the things that uh, is interesting is if you compare that to Whole Foods that is opening up, they, they have a few locations in other parts of Canada, but and even so they're going in very, very slowly and they're taking their time and they're testing the market, seeing what works before they open up more stores. Uh, Target came in and they could have learned from what Walmart had done in Canada 20 years earlier. They came here and uh, very successfully they bought out all the Woco stores across Canada but unlike what Target did they actually kept the Woco stores open with the Woco logo and slowly transformed the stores into Walmarts. So they're creating one revenue, two they were keeping their customer base, three they were keeping their staff. Target did the exact opposite. They, uh, sh they took over Zellers which is a big Canadian, was a big Canadian retailer. And they basically shut everything down for months, laid off all the staff, and basically forced the customers, their potential customers, to go elsewhere because they didn't really change the stores that much. Zeller's customers could have been target customers, but instead these people went to places like Walmart and many of them probably never came back. So what we can learn from that is one, you don't have to, uh, if, you're, if you want to get into real estate investing, if you're just starting, you don't have to wait till you have a million dollars in the bank and you can go buy up an entire neighborhood or whole city. You don't have to do that. Start off slow. You can start off with one property, much like Whole Foods is doing by one property. Use that to help you build your second, get your second location or your second property. Um, so start off slowly. Two, be coachable. Learn from what other people have done before you. If Walmart successfully kept the stores open and did the transformation with the stores open and they did it slowly and they made a very big success out of it, now they're a lot bigger than when they got here 20 years ago. Why didn't Target do their research? And here's the other funny thing is Target has never built a store outside of the United States till they came to Canada. Walmart was already in many, many countries and they learned. So why wouldn't you follow their example? So these are some of the things you want to consider uh, for your business and real estate is a business. So if you're, if you're also in uh, real estate investing, it's something you want to, to look at. How quickly do we want to expand? How much do we want to invest? Let's test some waters first and also learn from other people who have done this stuff successfully. Let's model exactly their behavior and you'll probably get similar results. So I hope you're going to learn something from uh, Target's big uh, mistakes, very costly ones for themselves. And also, once again, make sure you look at what other people are doing. If there's a certain strategy you want to use, follow suit. Do what, do what the uh, people uh, that have gone before you have done and you'll probably get the same results. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this adds value to you. I look forward to seeing you soon.